Morning, City Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. So happy Monday to everyone. Overnight, corn and wheat prices are lower. Beans are up fractionally. Outside markets are all higher. U.S. stocks, the dollar, crude, and uh, gold. So money might be moving away from the grains into the financial markets. Uh, CRB index was up last week on uh, talk that uh, we may get a deal, and uh, at least phase one, and that might help global economies. We've also seen some data from emerging countries that shows that their economies may be improving. So all those things uh, help there. The talk of Fed lowering rates is also helping the stock market. As far as the grains are concerned, it looks like over the next couple of weeks, uh, U.S. Uh, Midwest is going to see cold and dry weather. That should help harvest. We also noted that a private uh, group came out and raised the corn yield. Most people think on Friday USDA is going to lower the corn yield. They raise yields pretty uh, significantly in Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, and Missouri. So we'll see what the USDA says, but it kind of keeps a lid on prices and could pressure them a little bit if we start seeing some harvest pressure and the USDA actually does raise the corn yield. Uh, over in the beans, uh, President uh, of the United States tweeted on Friday that he might invite the Chinese president to Iowa to sign uh, phase one of the trade deal. Um, probably during the Democratic uh, primary, which is probably good timing for him, but we'll see what the Chinese agree to buy as far as U.S. ag goods. Um, Secretary of Treasury has said over the weekend that some of the purchases might be stretched into phase two signing, so that really is not very positive uh, from a demand standpoint. Uh, beans also uh, looking at uh, good harvest weather here in U.S. and down in South America it looks like over the next couple of weeks most of Brazil and Argentina is going to get a rain. And I think the Brazilian soybean planting pace has been behind normal because it's dry and this should help conditions down there. Wheat market's mostly a follower. Um, the higher dollar, lower corn prices is weighing on wheat prices. Last week, wheat prices were supported by talk of higher Russia and Europe uh, prices that could actually help U.S. export demand. So um, a little bit lower in the corn and wheat, a little bit higher in the beans, outside markets firm. And our next uh, big thing will be Friday's USDA uh, November report, which they should change crop numbers and S&Ds. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.